And welcome to the Wednesday, December 19th, 2018 edition of the Cluster API Provider Implementers Meeting, EMEA. Um, please keep in mind the code of conduct. And are there any new contributors that would be open to introducing themselves? Well, officially, I think I am a new contributor, at least. <laughs> At least I got accepted into the organization last week. So hi, Daniel, also a, a mostly, uh, and I'm new, uh, and I'm officially newer. Welcome. Glad to have you. Oh, and this is my ugly face, just in case, because I just noticed that my that my video was not on. All right. So um, I don't think there's any general items to bring up as far as I'm aware. Uh, is there any agenda items that people would like to bring forward? We don't have anything on the agenda currently in the Google Doc. Um, <clears throat> but is there anything that anybody would like to bring forward today? Uh, yes, I personally would actually like to see how feasible it would be to have container Linux support in the cluster API. So Cluster API does support container Linux. Um, there's nothing that is dependent on an operating system. Um, the only limitation is that providers uh, may offer example scripts on how to deploy Cluster API onto a particular operating system, but uh, they all support uh, using container Linux. Yeah, I, I thought as much. I just wanted to be sure. I might actually uh, uh, do a uh, start working on something to support at least in the OpenStack provider. Yeah, I believe some work on that for the OpenStack provider has already been done by uh, Flavio, um, but you can definitely take a look at that as well um, or contact him on Slack. I believe he's tested with uh, Container Linux, CoreOS Linux, Flatcar, something of that sort. All right, that would be nice. Uh, does anybody else have any items that they'd like to bring forward? All right. Well, in that case, then, thank you for attending, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye, everyone. Indeed. Thanks.